click the bell icon and subscribe to our channel so that you will not miss any classes hello students welcome to the class in this class we shall continue with the phases of cell cycle that is the m phase or the division phase in the previous classes we have discussed in detail about the g1 phase s phase g2 phase and the special phase g0 phase in detail now we shall continue with the next phase and a very important phase in the cell cycle that is the m phase m phase or it is also called the division phase we know that there are mainly two types of cells present in the living world they are prokaryotic cell prokaryotic cells and the eukaryotic cells and we also know that there are many considerable differences between the prokaryotic cells and the eukaryotic cells apart from those differences there are some similarities in the division of prokaryotic cells and the eukaryotic cells that is dna replication dna replication and splitting of cytoplasm so these are the common things which are happening in both prokaryotic cells and the eukaryotic cells that is the similarity even though there are many differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes this is the similarities between the divisions of prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell and in case of prokaryotes in case of prokaryotes the division is a simple phenomenon the division of the cell will occur in a simple manner that means there is no complexities as we observe in case of eukaryotic cells and the type of division common type of division we see in case of prokaryotic cells is binary fission is the binary fission where in binary fission if we consider it as a prokaryotic cell that is say for example it is a bacterial cell firstly the in case of prokaryotic cell the dna is a single molecule there is a single molecule of dna present that means there is no much complexity in the dna also initially the dna will undergo replication dna will undergo replication that means produces the same copy that is two copies of dna are produced this is one copy and this is another copy upon replication and these two produced copies will bind to the cell membrane like this they will bind to the cell membrane followed by the cell membrane we split the cytoplasm like this the cell membrane will split the cytoplasm into two which results in the formation of two daughter cells so that is the very simple process of binary fission which we can see in case of prokaryotic cells the process is very simple where the dna that is the nuclear material is also very simple initially it will undergo replication to produce a same copy and Uh, these copies will get bind to the cell membrane followed by the cell membrane will split the cytoplasm into two parts where it results in the formation of two daughter cells so that is a common and simple cell division which is seen in case of prokaryotes and when we come to the multicellular organisms 
multicellular organisms that is eukaryotes in case of eukaryotes the division is occurs the division of cells occurs to replace the lost cells the division of cells will happens in case of multicellular or eukaryotes to replace the lost cells which are the cells which are uh, completed their life span they will go die to replace those cells the division will occurs here whereas in case of prokaryotes the division is also a means of reproduction that you need to remember here not exactly it is a means of reproduction of course in some unicellular eukaryotes it is also a means of cell division so means of reproduction but here majorly in case of multicellular organisms the division of cells will occurs to replace the lost cells and the division will occurs continuously in case of plant cells we know that in plants there is a presence of meristematic cells which will continue till the plant die whereas in case of animals the division will halt after some time after some age the division of cells will stop and in case of cancerous cells the means the in case of cancerous cells there is an uncontrolled cell division without any control the cell the cells will divide so here the division uncontrolled cell division of cancer cells is because of the presence of enzyme called telomerase the telomerase enzyme is responsible for the uncontrolled cell division of the cancer cells so here in case of multicellular eukaryotic organisms the there are three types of divisions which happens the division that is we are discussing the m phase right so the in m phase we as we call it as a division phase the division of the cells will occurs by mainly three methods they are a mitosis mitosis and meiosis mitosis a mitosis and the meiosis so these are the three types of divisions which as i told there are three types of cell division we should take up them in detail firstly a mitosis a mitosis is also referred as direct cell division direct cell division and this type of cell division was demons sorry this type of cell division was discovered by a person called rima he observed the direct cell division in some special cells and here it is called direct cell division because here there is no chromatin disintegration that means the chromatin material or the chromosomal material will not undergo condensation decondensation those process will not happens here exactly and here the nuclear membrane will not disintegrates that means nuclear envelope or the nuclear membrane will not disappear or appear which happens in the mitosis here those process will not takes place so that is the reason why it is called direct cell division 
if there is a formation of chromosome disintegration of chromosome condensation of chromatin material if those process happens then we should call it as indirect cell division here in amatosis those processes are absent hence it is called direct cell division and here during the amatosis process what happens is say if it is a cell and here is the nucleus of a cell this is the nucleus of a cell during amatotic cell division what happens is firstly the nucleus will elongate elongation of nuclear material will takes place the nuclear material will just elongate whereas in others the nuclear material will undergo replication and those processes special processes will happen but here there is no uh, such process what happens here is the nuclear material or the nucleus will just elongate and it will form a constriction here and results in the formation of two daughter nuclei elongation constriction and results in formation of two daughter nuclei these are two daughter nuclei two daughter nuclei are formed so i'll write here after formation of two daughter nuclei the nuclear membrane will form a centripetal constriction will form centripetal constriction like this that means from both edges there is a centripetal constriction like this and results in the formation of two daughter cells two daughter cells are formed so this is the simple process this is not true for the divisions like mitosis and meiosis there is a special type of division taking place but here there is no such specialities just a nucleus will elongate constriction will results in formation of two daughter nuclei initially followed by the centripetal constriction of cell membrane which results in the division of cytoplasm which results in the two daughter cells so hence it is called a direct cell division and such type of cell division is seen in case of some prokaryotes and some diseased cells diseased cells and in some special cells like mammalian cartilage in mammalian cartilaginous cells cartilaginous cells we could observe the egg mitotic cell division and there is a drawback in a mitotic cell division that is as we discussed there is no replication of dna taking place and there is no process like formation of uh, chromosome formation and disappearance of nuclear membrane such process is absent hence there is no equal distribution of there is no equal distribution of chromosomal material chromosomal material or the chromosomes are not equally distributed among the two daughter cells hence there are some malfunctions all the functions of the cells are under the control of genetic material because of a mitosis the genetic material is not equally distributed among the two daughter cells hence there is a malfunctioning of the cells the cells will not work properly so that is the drawback of a mitosis so that's about the 
first type of cell division that is a mitosis we shall continue the next type of cell divisions that is mitosis and meiosis from the next class